God. I think I put wet. You only need a little dab. I mean, will you look at this? That's pigmented. Wow. I am shook. That is just one coat. What? This video has me shook. I'm not even kidding. I did a full face of a dollar makeup. That's right. Everything I tried on my face came from Shop Miss A. I mean, full face, eyebrows, foundation, bronzer, blush, eyeshadow, mascara, everything. So, we had some duds, but we had a lot of hits, and I was shook. So, if you want to see how I did this face, here are my thoughts and opinions of the Shop Miss A. Then let's do this. All right, so we're going to do the Get Ready With Me with Dollar Store Makeup. So this is Shop Miss A. This video is sponsored by Shop Miss A. However, I picked out everything that I wanted to try and I wanted to do this anyway. So many of you have always told me about Shop Miss A, especially their beauty blenders. You guys always say how good they are, like it's one of the best and they're only a dollar. So when Shop Miss A reached out to me, I'm like, mm -hmm. uh, yes. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do a try on. I mean, I'm talking about full eyebrows. Like I don't have my eyebrows done. I have nothing on my face but my skincare nothing so from foundation primer eyeshadow everything is from shop miss a all right so let's see you know what i am going to put on this lip balm or from color pop so juicy i have to have something on my lips that's one thing i did forget to uh get there i wasn't even thinking i really really like this a lot so Let's see what we have. I always start with my eyes first. So let's get the eye primer and eyeshadow out. And I'll show you as I go, like what stuff that I picked out. All right, so I have everything out of the bag. I even picked up for a dollar. Look at the little mirror. Let's open that up real quick because I'm really into like small things lately. But no, like little eyeshadow palettes and just, I don't know. When I first got into makeup, it was those big like Morphe palettes, like sizes like that. But I just think that's so cute. Look at it. And that's a really good mirror. Is it the best? No, but for a dollar, I really, really like this. Okay. I did get two different beauty blenders. Um, they're different shapes. I wanted to try them because you guys always say like, if you don't try anything, try these. So we'll get to that later. But I haven't opened anything because I truly want to have a real first impressions what I think of everything. All right, so where is my eye primer? I know I got eye primer right here. It's the AOA Soft Base Nude Eye Primer. So let's try that. So that's what she looks like. It's like a little squeezy tube. And it's exactly what it says. I don't know why I did that. I'm left-handed. Why did I put it on my right hand? So, oh, that's like yellowish. Oh, God. I think I put what you only need a little dab. Holy cow. Where is my makeup wipe? I mean, will you look at this? Let's fix her up. All right, and here is the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. So that's, you get a decent amount for a dollar, you know? So I'm gonna use that to set my eyes. I always set my eyes. I'm gonna put a little bit on the lid. All right, and let's just set her. I always take it up to my eyebrows because I'm very oily on my T-zone. And I noticed when I started setting my eyebrows, so when I put my eyebrow pencil on, my eyebrow pencil lasts longer. Okay, so the next step that I always do are my eyebrows. So I picked out because I didn't know what color eyebrow pencil to get. I got dark brown and medium brown. These are the micro brow, oh, realistic hair strokes. Oh, they're not regular eyebrow pencil. So I might have to use my own and then go back. These are the ones that you do the flicks with. 
yeah so let me go get mine real quick i'll do my eyebrows and then i'll come back and we'll use these and see how that works i've never used these before so i'll be right back okay so i just did a really quick job just to kind of like fill them in a little bit so that we can use these brow pens so I'm going to use medium brown first. Which ones do I have? I have medium brown and dark brown. Let's try the medium brown first. So I want to go too dark since I did, I dyed my hair. And I always try to dye my eyebrows a little bit, but I only keep them on for like a few minutes. And they're a little dark. All right, so it looks like that. And then that's one of these where it has like the three, if you guys can see, has like three little things up. I've never used this before. So let's just go in. I don't think this is showing up. I don't think it's dark enough. Yeah, it's not dark enough. You see that? That's like a more of a brown. Okay, so that's not even showing up. All right, so let's go with the dark brown. All right, so let me swatch this one and see the difference next to each other. Oh, yeah, you could definitely see a difference. That's the dark brown. That is the medium brown or whatever it was. So let's see if this shows up. If not, maybe I need it black. Oh, yeah, I do see it a little bit. I don't even know how to, I guess you would go up. Oh, that does show a little brown. I don't know what you can see because I do have hair, you know. Um, But it does have like little... Can you guys see that? Like little strokes. <gasps> now, I should have used the medium brown for up here because I usually tend to go in a little bit lighter. So I'll do that with the other one. Wow. Let me see what the medium brown looks like. And I'll have to even it out, but I just want to see. I like the medium brown for the front, and then I would have to go in with the darker. But let me go back in with that dark one so that way it evens it out, you know? This is definitely good. Like, I would definitely repurchase these. I might even go in to see if they have a black because my eyebrows are so dark. I This would be great if you, you don't have a lot of hair and stuff. Now, for me, you would have to go, unless you already have, like, you don't need an eyebrow pencil, you have, like, full eyebrows then you could just use this me I would have to go in with an eyebrow pencil and then go in with this and it does look it makes it look so much realer I'm shocked I really really like these okay that's a plus starting out already okay so now let's do the uh, let me show you the eyeshadow that I got I got a few different eyeshadow palettes because I didn't know like how they perform and what I wanted to do so I got four so they're all from AOA. So this is the Fairy Garden one. So this is like a neutral one. Then we have, this reminds me of like the little elf one. This is called Sunday Afternoon. Did I get two fairy? Oh, no, I'm wrong. Okay, so these are fairy gardens. This is probably the, the, the fairy garden collection, but they're different colors. I'm like, what did I just do? So this is in Lily. So I got this because it has a dark brown and I like that transition shade. And then this is in Peony right here. Cause I thought I can use these two to make one look and they're only a dollar, so two bucks, right? And then the last one I got was this. This is Sunday afternoon. So I guess these are all called Sunday afternoon, but this is called Blanket and this is called Depresso. So these two. Okay, I think I'm going to use these right here. I think that's what I'm going to do. And maybe a shade from one of these so I could test it out. So let me open these up. Okay, so let me show you a better look at these. They look really nice. All right, I'm going to go into this shade right here as my transition, and this is in the Lily palette. I'm just going to go tap right there. It doesn't have a lot of kick up, but it, I can see it coming out, you know, so. All right. Oh, that showed up. I'm like really shocked because I've heard so many people talk about this brand 
and say how good it was. I mean, of course, every brand has its hits and misses. Let me close this knife up. But, I mean, that has some pigment for this shade for my transition. I'm shocked. So I went in twice with that shade. That is really, really nice. Okay, let me go into my color switch. I'm going to go in with the peony and do this shade here. I cannot get over, like, there's no kick up. I mean, when I tap it, I can see it coming off, but wow. Okay, so I want to try one of these palettes. This is the Sunday afternoon, the blanket um, palettes. Let's see how these perform. And I'm going to go a little bit deeper with this shade right here. I'm going to use a smaller brush. Yeah, look. I mean, and I'm really tapping hard on this, guys. No kick up. And really not a lot of fallout. Okay. Now, I had to go in a couple times to build that up, but wow. Okay. Now, I'm going to take that same brush that I was using on the other palettes and just kind of like blend it out using this brush. And you guys know, if you've been watching me, I love this brush. This is a crown brush. It's like a B, oval B40 or something like that. And I use it all the time, every time I do my makeup. And it really helps with those lines. But even if you don't have any, it just helps with blending. Like, it blends it so much easier and faster. I mean, look at that. That is really, really nice. Now, if you're new to my channel, I'm very sloppy, but then I end up cleaning it up, okay? All right, so what shimmer shade are we going to use? Let's see. I got a lot to choose from. All right, I'm going to use the other palette. That way I used all four. This is a Sunday afternoon in Depresso. And I think I'm, go oh, I'm going to use this shade right here. Because this one is like a glitter. Is this a glitter? Yeah, that's a glitter. I don't want to use that one. That's what it looks like. Okay, so they're not, the shimmer shade, at least in this palette, is not as, boom, I'm not going to lie. And I'm using my finger, finger, you guys know this. Um, it, it does, I mean, for a dollar, though, for four shades for a dollar, listen, I wasn't expecting a lot. This is more than what I thought it was going to give me, let's be real. So really, I can't compare it to like a $60 palette, but it's not bad. I mean, it's not to look like my liking where I'm like, pow, you guys know I like those shimmery metallics, but I would still use this like this. I, I like, I can't get over a dollar, a dollar. All right. I'm going to try the shimmer shade here. And this is with Lily. And I'm going to put it over and just say. Okay. Did a little something, something. All righty, all righty. Okay, I'm going to go in the Depresso shade and go in with this dark brown and deepen it up. That's pigmented. Wow. Look at that pigment. What? All right, I'm going to blend it in. I am so shook. Now, watch how much better it's going to look once I clean it up. Just watch. So, I just put up a makeup wipe, and right here is my fingertip. And I let's do this. Go up. See that? Just like that. I mean, look how much difference it looks just by cleaning up. That's why I say I'm a little sloppy, but that's okay. I can't believe I did this makeup look with a dollar eyeshadow palette. So for all four of them, four dollars. Okay, let's do the face. So 
I have a couple different primers. I thought I did. So it looks like I just have this one. This is the AOA. This is the Blur Affection Face Primer. I thought I had a liquid one too, but I guess not. All right, and that's what she looks like. I tried to open it up and I dug my finger in it. Okay, so let's just try her on out. It feels like a creamy consistency. I don't know. Let me go in with one of my primers because I wanted to just use this right here where my pores are. Because this is just for a blurring effect and I only want it right here. So I'm going to use this. This is the Ciate London Dewy Skin. I got this in a boxy charm, And I'm just going to put that like just around here. All right, so I didn't put it anywhere here. So let's go in with this puppy and see. I don't know. So that you can see what it looks like. Kind of push it into the skin. Maybe a little bit, but I really don't see. Not like my Tatcha uh, one. I don't... I can still see my pores. They it might have worked a little bit. I can definitely see a little difference, but uh, I don't know if like I would ever use this one again. Do you know what I mean? Okay, we're gonna try it out though. Now let me. You know what? I have these. Let me open these up because I have to go wet them. I keep dropping things today. It is like seven o'clock at night, but. Okay, so here is the first one. These are the normally shaped ones that I usually use. And it is the AOA Wonder Blender. And is this the same thing? I thought I got two, yes. I thought I got the other shape, but I guess I didn't. So it's the same thing. So when we only have this one, I'm going to try. So let me go wet this and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the one I just went and wet, and this was the other one that I had. So it does get a lot bigger with the water, and it did get a lot firmer, you know? It feels good, but let's just try it. My foundation. I have two right here. I picked two different shades because I didn't know what shade. You know, it's hard to find things on the internet, you know? Okay, so I have two different shades here, a lighter and a darker. So we have 303 Buff and we have 305 Pure Beige. All right, so I don't know if I would be the Buff or the Beige. Okay, so let's see. Oh, and this is the lightest shade. What? Okay, let's see what the darker one looks like. Let's just see. Because I usually go dark around and then light, but put that and I still did it right in the front these are very yellow okay let's take this beauty blender and like say let me take my earrings out this is definitely none of them my shade and they're very yellowish just want to see mixed together okay doesn't have a lot of coverage some on the sponge and then we'll go in with the light shade too and mix it all together what was I thinking at least we can see the coverage that's the most important okay so let's just bounce I can definitely see all my sun damage, all my redness. We're going to go in again just to see. This is a lot of foundation. Like, I am not used to wearing this much foundation at all. I know it's not my color, 
That's my fault. I picked out these shades. But I, it feels like, it, it looks like it's just sitting on my face. You know what I mean? Okay, so that did make a little difference. It did. It could be because of the primer. Maybe if I had a different primer like what I usually use, you know, like a better primer, it probably because I can definitely see my pores, definitely. And I'm not used to that. And it looks like it's just sitting on your skin. And if you guys can see, it's settling all of my wrinkles, my fine lines. So I think this would be great if you're younger. Because you once you when you're aging, you, you know, you can't use the same thing. Let's try the concealer. Maybe that'll work. Let's see. So this is the AIA, no, AOA Studio in porcelain. So it's one of these tubes. Okay, so let's see. All right, let's put just a tad, just a tad, because I don't tend to use concealer really. That's light. <laughs> Now that made it look a little bit better. I ain't gonna lie, it did. It made it look a lot better, actually. That concealer I like, I would use that again. I probably would have to get a little bit darker shade, but I do like it, definitely. So we have two finishing powders. I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade. This is porcelain and this is toffee. No. I got this for my bronzer, that's right. So let me go in with the porcelain and see. That's what it looks like. And let's just see if that gives me just a little bit more coverage or if it's just good to use like after. And I think that's what it is. This is just like what it says, it's a finishing powder. So like after you get done your makeup, do you know what I mean? Um, you would use it so that it would take the oilness and stuff away. You know what I mean? So that's what you would use it for. Okay, so let me go ahead and spray my face again. I always do this. That way, any of the powder or whatever, and I use the Dampen Beauty Blender, and that way it like melts into your skin so you don't have that cakey look. You know what I mean? Let's put some more stuff on the lips. All right, so before I finish the eye makeup, let's go in with the bronzer. I picked the shade to Toffee, and this might be a little light. But let's try her out. Oh, I can see it a little bit. It's a little light. It definitely is light for me, but that's okay. You can see it. And, I, I, and the main thing is I want to see the formula because if I like it, I could just get a darker shade. Do you know what I mean? All right, so this is definitely too light, but I'll tell you what, I would use this again if it was a darker shade. I might go and get a darker shade because I do like it. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, it's just like I said, I didn't pick the right shade, but this is a pretty good, I, I, I like this. I'm most excited for this highlighter. So this is the press highlighter in Eris or Harris. That's what she looks like. All right, let's see. Okay. Yeah, you could definitely see that. Okay. Doesn't go with my makeup look or this foundation. <laughs> Like, but you could look at that like that is definitely blinding okay so let's go in and kind of soften that up just for my liking this is just a personal preference oh yeah that's so much better for me but if you like that boom this is pretty good for a dollar okay let's go in with the blush this is in let's open her up and see I forget what shade she is Euphoria is the shade. That's a gorgeous color. You just twist it. Look at that. Woo, let's do a little swatchy swatch. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's only going in one time. Okay.
All right, I like it. You guys know I always like to do my nose. It's a new thing I've been doing. I don't know why. That is, <laughs> that is pigmented. Very, very pigmented. Let's kind of blend her out, but it's a gorgeous color. I'm gonna blend out good too. Put this right here so it matches. Wow. And if you ever go to my, you know, whatever you use for your bronzer, you know, you can kind of use that to blend it out too. Okay. All right, so let's finish the eye look. I don't see an eyeliner, so let me go get one for my waterline. All right, this is one from NYX. Let's see if I can, if it still has the name. Tropical Green. I'm telling you, if you use a color like greens, purples, blues, it can really make your eyes stand out. All right, I'm going to go into the eyeshadow palette blanket. And I'm going to go with this shade right here. Then I'm going to go back in with the Peony palette and use this shade. Then I'm going to go into the blanket one and use this shade and just go right up top just a little bit. Then I'm going to go in the Depresso shade and use like this detail brush with that dark brown and deepen it up. But I don't go all the way in. I only go like halfway. Make sure you always connect, you know, where your top is. All right. So we just have lips and we have mascara to do. So let's do the lips really quickly. So I have this bullet lipstick. This is the AOA Studio in the shade Flirt. And these are the new ones. And just about all of them were sold out. So I was only able to get this shade. I think it was this one in like a red. And I didn't want to get red. All right. And that's what it looks like. Let's do a little swatch. It looks beautiful. Oh, yeah. It's a little pinky. But let's see. But you know what? Let me get a lip liner. And because I think this is a little pinkyish. Let's see. I'm going to get like a brownish color. This is from Basie Beauty. Okay, so now let's go in with this. This is nice. I like that. Now, this doesn't go with the eye look, right? But... I would actually pick more of these up and they're a dollar. I really would. A lot of them were sold out, but they're really, really pretty. I'm just going to go in with a lip gloss really quick because you guys know I have to have a lip gloss. Okay, so let's go with mascara. That's all we have left to do. I picked two. So we have the volume and we have the lengthening one because you know I am a hashtag natural lash type of gal and I use between three to four. So I figured let's just do two because if I did one, it wouldn't be fair because I know I wouldn't have liked it. Do you know what I mean? So let's do the lengthening one first. All right, and that's what the wand looks like. I like the way the wand looks. So let's just do this. I am shook. That is just one coat. What? All right, let me do the other eye. I think it's the wand. It separated. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Look at that. I would use this alone. This is better than some of them that I use two and three. Oh my God. When I do two and three mascaras, I'm not even kidding. Let's do the volume one. That worked so well for lengthening. Okay, so here is... That what salon looks like for volume. And the other one that had curl had like a U shape, you know? I'm not even joking. This is the best my lashes have looked in a long, long time. Would you look at this? I should have did the volume first and then the lengthening one. But I'm going to use the lengthening one on my bottom lashes because 
I don't know. I just want to see what it looks like. I can't get over this. Okay, I'm going to come back. I'm going to just do my hair really quickly and um, clean up that mascara. And I'll be right back with my final thoughts and tell you which I think was great and which ones mm, I probably wouldn't use again. So I'll be right back. All right, so let's go over what I used and I'll tell you what would I use again, what I won't, you know, because there's some duds, but there is some hits. All right, so love this mirror. I didn't really use it too much, but it's a mirror and it's a buck and it's small and cute and I'll definitely use it, you know? I don't know what happened to the other one, but I had two of these. These are the brow flicker thingies. Love this. I'm going to see if they have a black so I could do the back of my eyebrows and I'll keep the medium brown. I would definitely use this again. Totally recommend. It really, really worked. I, I, I like it a lot. Oh, here's the other one right here. Okay, so I'm happy for that. The eyeshadow primer, I mean, it's okay. Would I use it again? Yeah, I'll definitely keep trying it out, you know. I, I definitely will just to see with, with different formulas, uh, eyeshadow palettes and different things. But, I mean, the eyeshadow came out great. So, I don't know if it's because of the primer or the eyeshadow. But I'll definitely use it again. You just go in very lightly. The eyeshadows. I liked all of them. I didn't have a problem with all of them. I mean... <laughs> Try that again. I didn't have a problem with any of them. I liked them. It came out. I mean, the shimmer. I wish it was just a little bit better, but for a buck, I can't complain. I mean, come on. So I used all four. So for four dollars, I got this eye look. You know, this blur. Uh, thing, I won't use again. I could still see my pores. All that. No, won't use it again. Foundation. I will not use this again. It just sitting on my face. You can tell I have foundation on and it shows more of my fine lines and wrinkles. Do you know what I mean? So maybe if I use a different face primer instead of um, going in with the Ciate one, I don't know. But I, I just, I don't think I would use this again. Highlighter was everything. Definitely. I really like the highlighter. I'm definitely going to go in and get different colors. The bronzer I liked. It's too light. I picked the wrong color, but I like it. I will definitely go in and pick more colors. The finishing powder. I think it works great if it, you use it as a, as a, <laughs> I'm dropping things, as a finishing powder. You know what I mean? I think it will work great. The blush, love it. I would get all different colors. Concealer I liked. Is it my favorite? No, but it helped the foundation. You know what I'm saying? I do like the bullet lipsticks. I mean, it doesn't go with the eye look, but I do like it for a buck. Is it my holy grail? No, but for a dollar, I will definitely get more of these. I see why they're sold out. But the star of the show are these mascaras. I am not kidding. Look for yourself. These are the only two I used. I wish I would have went with the volume first and then lengthening, okay? But it worked so good that I really am going to get a couple more of these for backup and try the curling one. Oh yeah, and the beauty blender. Oh, I mean, it's okay. It did the job. It's a little too hard for me, for my liking, but it's not so terrible that I wouldn't use it again if that made sense. You know what I mean? Like I will. I definitely liked it when I did the, uh, like the concealer and stuff. So yeah, overall, I mean, I am shocked how much stuff I like. It was only a couple duds. I mean, I, I just, it, it blows my mind that dollar makeup can be this good compare. I mean, we're paying 18, 20 bucks for lipstick and a dollar works great. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. All right, guys, please like this video. Like the video if you like these try on videos. Let me know. The more likes I get, I know to keep doing them or dislike it. Let me know if you ever tried Shop Miss A. Let me know. And what are your holy grails if you have tried them? And that's everything, guys. I know this is a longer video, but I wanted to do a full face and give you guys my first impressions. All right, guys. Stay beautiful. Stay blessed. Stay healthy. And most importantly, always stay you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. I am shocked how good my eyelashes look. I can't get over this. Wow, I'm shocked, I'm shocked.